yeah what up folks all right so we got a 2013 t6 ford ranger um customer basically took his vehicle to service and wasn't able to move his vehicle so he towed it here to his boy shop and well they contact me asked me if i could help them out right so first thing i noticed when i got here that they try to start the vehicle right well you know the battery is always an issue right this is a push start um I put in my scan tool and when i try to start the vehicle the oil light remain on while the vehicle is running so let me just try to start it and see what's going right so you see the oil light is staying on and hold on real quick let me take it out right so the it does have oil let's pull the dipstick out and see how the oil is all right so we do have oil right but that's at least some of my problems right now let me see what's going on with that rough idle so let's start the vehicle back up again real quick all right this is a diesel vehicle So that sounds like a misfire. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put my fault sensor in my exhaust real quick. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go on my scope. I'm gonna think on number one. Alright, so I'm gonna set up my scope real quick. I pull my hand cam. Put this on. Sorry about the noise in the background. In fact, let's open up the whole file. Sorry about the noise in the background. I'm trying to move as fast as I could. But um just having some problem connecting. Alright, so I'm able to connect. Set a trigger. Um, move this trigger. All right. So let's take this vehicle off because of the noise. Hold on. I shut the vehicle off because it's really loud. Yeah, sorry about that. As I said, just need to get, get the capture. All right. So what you see in here, the blue um, spikes are the is my arm clamp on cylinder number one, right? And basically the red pulse is my exhaust. My exhaust, um, what you call it, probe, right? 
So let me just set this up real quick. My rulers and my overlay chart. As you can see, right? This is this is right now hooked up to my exhaust. Um, right, I'm sync off for number one. But right here is my number one exhaust. And if you notice, he don't even have these the dropout. You're not seeing no his dropout is different compared to the others. Right, and based on what I saw in the scan tool, it's telling me that number one and number two, all injectors need to be serviced, but number one and number two is the the ones that's having the issue. Let's check it right here. Oh, I lost it. Sorry. Right. Um. So, what does lead me to believe that I'm having a misfire on number one, number two, also? Right, I'm not seeing no compression on number two. Number three is here. So this is number one, this is number three, this is number four, and this is number two. Right. I'm gonna pull these injectors. This vehicle also needs a service. Um, I'm gonna make a recommendation to the client. Right, but I'm just you know that showed you what I look at in order to make the call on a bad or faulty injector or injector that's not contributing. Yes, I use my scan tool, but um, also use this to kind of back me up and guide guide me on where the misfire is coming from. Right, so let me just pull these injectors out. Right, um, fairly easy to pull out, I guess, um, and then I will you know pull back up the fix. And hopefully get this vehicle back up and running for this client. Alright, so these injectors came out. Alright, so this is number one here. It's how number one basically looks, tip looks compared to the others. It's number four, three, two, and one. Number one is really bad. Alright, so we're gonna take this to service. Um uh, just cover that up, probably replace the Valve cover cup, um, seal, and the injector seals while I'm at it. Yeah, and probably make some recommendation to service up the vehicle. And yeah, that should be it. Because um, these T6 tend to have a lot of carbon buildup and oil um, tend to burn a lot in these vehicles, right? Yeah, these guys are still the catch can thing, but I'm not into all that, right? So. Um, get back to you three days later. All right, so we're back at it again on the Ford Ranger um, Right with the messed up injectors So we're gonna change out the, the seals one time Alright, so put the injectors in and the uh, cover on. 
Now we put on the lines, the fuel lines, to so each injector, hook up the harness, whatever hose you need to connect, make sure that everything is connected up good so they have no leaks or hiccups. Yeah, so while Chris is finishing assembling the front, I'm gonna read the system for air real quick. My battery's dying on my scan tool and on my camera, so I'm gonna just read the system real quick, make sure you have no leaks, and then I'm um, ready to start, right? So this was a crank, misfire all over the place, whatever it was. And now we put in the we took the injectors to service and we put install them, reinstall them and it should be good to go. Right, so as I said, let me just be the system for A and then take it from there. So the scan tool, I'm gonna bleed the system. So I don't have to crack the lines for the in each injector. I'm just gonna do it from here. Um, it's gonna purge itself out. What I'm gonna do here is reset the fuel injector values. You just have to basically follow what is um, instructed by the scan tool. And that's it, complete. All right, so you gotta switch it off. Right, say okay, it's okay, switch it back on. Right, so I re reset the fuel injector alarm value. So it basically what was stored before would be set in the memory. So basically I um, got rid of that. That's it, what else I need to do? I don't think there's anything else I touched. So let's come out of here. Let's read four codes. He also, um, when I scanned it all um, before, right, I also picked up a glow plug circuit issue. So we got, I got to inform him about that. Right, number two cylinder. Let's make a report. I'm gonna let him know that you gotta sort out number two glow plug. So I'm gonna bleed the system now. Remove all the air that's in the system. What I'm gonna do is reset the fuel injector learn values, right? So that's gonna clear all the the learn values that the vehicle was operating on before, right? And by the set of service the injectors. So basically that it will have new set points. So that's done, and there's nothing else I can do here. All right, so I'm gonna try to start right now and see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to start now. Sound like battery. <laughs> like always, like always, you know, every time you come to start a vehicle, it's always a dead battery. You can never get a car with a good battery. <laughs> right on. So we're gonna see if we could start it now. You're gonna get some white smoke because I screwed some cleaner into the chamber to get the carbon off. So let's try this again. We're gonna try this again. We gotta jump back on. Alright, let's see what's going on. <laughs> 